morning YouTube geezer and the gang here pulling out of a uh, wagon wheel campground here in uh, Forsyth Montana and uh, and uh, we don't really have any big plans for the day we're just gonna drive about 100 to 150 miles and watch for things along the way so I don't know whether this is just gonna be a two-hour drive or a day of exploration this little campground here this wagon wheel this is a nice nice one night stop uh, didn't really check it out very much we pulled in sat up laid down to take a nap woke up this morning <laughs> what can I say you know I guess we were tired but uh, it seemed pretty decent except for uh, no TV at all no cable no air TV nothing so if that's important to you that might be a, a downfall but internet worked good and that's about all I can tell you it was 30 bucks even for the night getting hooked up with the interstate right here and uh, we'll put it on the road and see where it leads us We say goodbye to Interstate 94 eastbound, and uh, we're going to go into uh, Miles City, check around, see what we can find, and then we'll be getting on uh, Montana 59 headed south. But we're going to buzz town just to see what's here. This is the Miles City historic area. This is a this is a cool little town here. Oh, there's the visitor center. We're gonna head down there and see what's around here to see. Because I don't think it's streets down there. Information center, Mile City Area Chamber of Commerce. That makes sense with it. with a very helpful lady that uh, planned a little sightseeing thing for us uh, which starts with another good place to do some rock hunting for Lucy we're up on a dike alongside of the Tongue River right now going down to a river access It's kind of a interesting drive along here. Looks like we're going to be waiting for a train. Or maybe not. Ooh, I don't know if I can get under that bridge or not. Lucy's going to go down and spot and see if we can get under this thing. not looking too excited about it. Huh? 
Guess we're good. We found this little piece of river access. This is the Tongue River though. We really couldn't get down to the Yellowstone River. But she seems to be pretty content right here. See her over there. She's finding some. Except for our rock hunting excursion, not much notable about Mile City. So we're putting it south on Montana 59, headed for Broadus, Montana. They actually did have a couple of museums that might appeal to a lot of people, just not our cup of tea, so we didn't stop at them. But I wanted to, to mention it anyway. On down the road. first place that we stopped at in Montana for the night. The, uh, the guy that escorted us to our campsite made the comment to us, it never rains in Montana. Well, five minutes after he left us, it started raining, and it's been raining more than it hasn't been raining ever since then. In fact, here it comes again. definitely uh, found out why this is called Big Sky Country. You just feel like a speck out here. And you can see further than your eyes can focus. It's, it's really quite amazing. This is just a beautiful state. I believe we've enjoyed every single mile of travel in this state. Definitely, as far as I'm concerned anyway, Montana would be a contender if I was gonna pack up and move somewhere. Yep. Lucy agrees. Montana gets two thumbs up and two paws up from the geezer game. Well, we're pulling into Wayside RV Park, which is our destination of the day. Now this gentleman's name is Steve, and he said if he wasn't here, go ahead and out one. All right. Oh. Um. 